Hi, I'm Eduardo Lachat, a final year student of the Master in Electrical Engineering. In this channel, my brother and I, a PhD student in Mechanical Engineering, will help you thrive on your way to become an engineer or scientist, because these are two exciting careers that lie ahead of you. In this video, I will help you use Anki, a free software to create flashcards. Maybe you heard of Active Recall and Flashcards. But if you didn't, I will summarize them briefly. So, what is Active Recall? Active Recall is a principle of effective learning, where you test your knowledge continuously. Instead of more passive ways of learning, like reading a book or watching a movie. In engineering, is the difference between reading a text about Newton's laws of motion and actively testing your memory by asking what is the second law of motion. Flashcards are cards that have one question and one answer and sometimes more information about the topic. They are used to test your knowledge and find gaps in your memory. Now, let's start using Anki. Now that we are on the computer, let's type Anki to download it. Let's click on the first result that appears. On the website, select your operating system and download it, so you can then install it. Now that we have Anki installed, let's create our first user. I already have user 1, but let's create another. You just click Add, Type a name and click open. Now that we have a user, let's create our first deck. This is the main page of Anki. As you can see, we have decks, add, browse, stats and sync. I will explain every option of the bar. To create our first Anki deck, let's click create deck. Type a name for your deck, I'm going to call it calculus and press OK. Now we have our first Anki deck. When you click it, since we have no card, it will say congratulations, you have finished this deck for now. Now, for the most important part of the video, let's create our first flashcard. You just click Add and will be presented with this pop-up. In the front, you type your question. In the back, you can write the answer. For this example, we'll copy and paste the definition from Wikipedia. So, let's select the definition, Ctrl C and Ctrl V. Now, when we go to cards, this pop-up will appear, where we have our question and in the back preview, the answer. Now, you just created your first Anki card. When you create your first flashcard, you can review it and start using active recall and space repetition. Back to the main menu, we can see that we have a new card in the calculus deck. So let's review our first Anki card. As you can see, I made a mistake. I misspelled derivative, so I'm going to show you how to correct this now. You go to browse and this pop-up will appear. In our deck, calculus, we select the card and change the word or information. We can close it and now it will appear correctly. Finally, we made everything on Anki, except reviewing cards. Let's do that now. Now you can read the question. What is a derivative? When you try to recall it, then you can show the answer. Now, you have to define how difficult it was to answer the question. If it was really hard, you press again. If it was ok, you press good. And if it was really easy, you press easy. I'm going to press good for now. The question appeared again, so let's answer it. Now, let's press easy. And we finished our deck again. So, let's go back to the main menu. As you can see, we have no cards to review, so our deck is finished. You can create how many flashcards you want, but please keep them simple and try to review them often. In this simple add-on, you can see when you need to review future cards. So you don't have to keep in mind when you have to review a flashcard. Anki will do that for you. So, I hope you liked the video. If you are still unsure why should you use Anki, watch this video. And I see you there.